Welcome! In this session, we will learn how to import the price matrix into R. The first thing that we are going to do is to save us the prices that we have in Excel as a CSV file. So we are going to click on File, Save As, and here in Browse, I'm going to uh, save us in, uh, in my Documents uh, directory. So the directory that R is using as home directory. So I'm going to save this as a CSV file. As you can be, as you can see, there are several CSV uh, files. There is a CSV MS DOS, CSV Macintosh. There is a CSV UTF-8. I would recommend you to save it to save the file as a CSV comma delimited file. And I will I will name it uh, prices.csv. As I already have a, a file with this name, I will uh, overwrite the file. So, and in R, I'm going to use the function, or well, I will create a new variable, price.matrix equal, and I'm going to use the function read.table to import my data. Read.table, open parenthesis, the first parameter of this function will be the name of the file, prices.csv as I save this file uh, in the home directory that I'm using in R I don't have to put the address so I, I just put the name of the file comma the second parameter will be header equal to true and with this I'm telling R that the first row is actually the name of the columns so I'm telling R this is not actually data but the ticker, the name of the columns. Then I hold shift and press enter and I go to the other line without running the, the command. The third uh, parameter will be sep, which means separator. And with this, I'm telling R which is the character that is separating the data in my CSV file. In this specific case, in my specific case, Excel saved the CSP file using semicolons as a separator character. You should look at your specific file, which character is using Excel in order to separate the, the data. It could be a comma, for example. And finally, the fourth uh, parameter will be row.names equal to date. And with this, I'm telling R that the first column contains the name of the rows, that this is not actually data, this is not actually a company name date, but I'm telling R this is the name of the rows. Now I can run this command. And as you can see here in the global environment, there is a new variable named price.matrix that we have just created. And it has 60 observations from 20 variables. 20 variables are the assets, are the companies that are candidates to become part of my uh, portfolio, of my optimal portfolio, and 60 observations, which come from the five years of 12 monthly prices. I am going to double click this price.matrix. And now you can see all the data that we had in, in Excel, we have already loaded in R. With this, I'm finishing this session. Thanks for watching.